morning, guys. Uh, I am going to play a couple songs that uh, I'm not really prepared to play, but just for fun. Uh, songs that I've never played before. We'll see what happens. But I, I also wanted to, uh, uh, throughout in between songs, I'm going to tell you guys some of my most awkward and embarrassing stories. Um, just because, why not? So I'll, I'll go ahead and start with one of those. So... <sighs> I, I, I'm not very good in front of people. I'm, I'm socially awkward, okay? <laughs> if you didn't know that, well, surprise. My, my nephew, um, Eli, when he, was, when he was younger, had a massive drooling problem. Just, I mean, bad stuff. Uh, I still can't eat Cheetos, uh, cheese puffs, just the smell of it. Ugh. Okay, whew, so okay. You get it, a lot, of, a lot of drool going on, a lot of nastiness, okay. So also, his habit, since he was a child, has been to pick up cups. Random cups, just any cups that he sees lying around. <laughs> and then to drink from these cups. These strangers' cups. This, he just goes up to them, picks them up, and drinks from them. So it was, it was always like a thing in our house where if you had left your cup unattended... There might be some goodies in there, some some surprises floating around. Okay, so obviously you see why my habit is to always get a new cup if I have left my cup. Okay, all right. So it's okay, you know I, I've I, I've accepted this, right? But <laughs> so then there's someone at the church who gets a cup, and they they put it down and leave it, and I tell them, hey, um, you left your cup. Um, and then I add on, I was going to spit in it. And then the person goes, well, that's really rude. And what I meant to say was, I hope my nephew didn't get a hold of it, less spit went into it. But that's not what came out. It was always, it's always these things where the most awkward thing that I can say is, is, what I need to say, like for instance, here, here's another little little story here. Um, my, <laughs> uh, my my now deceased great aunt. I, I'm playing with the dog, and she doesn't like how I'm playing with her. I don't know this, so I'm playing with the dog, and she says something I don't hear what she says. So I say what, and she doesn't say anything. She kind of has this look on her face, but she's kind of one of those ladies that always has a mean look on her face. So I don't want really to think much of it. So. Not knowing what I should say, what I do say is, that's what I thought. So it sounds like I'm punking my great aunt. Okay, so then there's like this, I don't know what to do, and I feel awkward, so I just start playing with the dog again, and then she starts getting angry with, like, angry with me. She's like, leave the dog alone, and I'm like, oh my goodness, this situation has escalated. And I'm 95% positive, it's, it's, it's because when, I'm, when I feel awkward, I don't know... I don't know exactly how to respond. My my mom didn't really help the situation with Eli drinking from cups because she would take the cup that's just sitting there with the floaties in them and then she would just drink them. Like, have some dignity, woman. That's just disgusting. And, oh my goodness, my mom's, my mom's gross. So, for everyone else... <sighs> So this this is why this is why on this spot I'm not I'm not real good you know this person who left their cup in the church I'm trying to joke with them, and I, I'm trying to say about how, you know maybe I drank from their cup and they'll never know but that's just not what comes out it's never what comes out it's always something else that comes out, and in this case it was I was gonna spit in your cup man oh man, and remember this is the associate pastor who's who's talking so it's not like just some random person it's it's just super awkward, and. Oh, oh my goodness! So there's that, and uh, I'll I'll bring some more uh, awkward stories after I play some songs that I'm not prepared to play. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kinda dumb with her finger and a thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, 
the views start coming and they don't start coming Back to the rules and they hit the ground running Didn't make sense not to live for fun Your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb So much to do, so much to see So what's wrong with taking the back street? You'll never know if you don't go You'll never shine if you don't go Hey now, hey, you're an all-star Get your game on and go play And hey now, you're a rock star Get the show on and get paid And all that glitters is gold Now wait till you get older But the media men beg to differ Judging by the hole in the satellite picture The ice we skate is getting pretty thin The water's getting warm so you might as well swim The world's on fire, how about yours? That's the way I like it, I never get bored Hey now, you're an all-star Get your game on and go play And hey now, you're a rock star Get the show on and get paid And all that glitters is gold Only shoot hate that song. Hate it. But, yeah, Gracie likes it. And then I played that other mo uh, song from Shrek, and she's like, oh, don't even throw up. Just throw up your face, Gracie. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, she likes that song, so I was like, okay, all right, fine. <clears throat> so another awkward story. So people don't think about this, but pastors do need to poop. They They do. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm in this meeting, needing to, go, needing to go to the bathroom. I can't because I'm in a meeting. So, okay, the, the meeting ends. I have to go take care of the kids. I, was, ah, I need to use the bathroom. The service is about to start. So, finally, two minutes till service, I'm like, maybe I can just, I can just get through. And I'm like, man, you don't want to be, like, in a public gathering. Like, just, just go to the bathroom. So, I go to the bathroom. Now, it's, like, seven minutes after starting time. And I walk in, and everybody's looking around like, why haven't we started? And I know, I know somehow that they know, that I know that they know, and that I went to the, I went to the bathroom. They, they know somehow that I was using the restroom. So then the whole way through service, I feel awkward, which all of this does is it reminds me of another time that I'm doing the entire service. This is at a different church. I'm doing the whole service. And... I, I get up there, I greet the people, I start the service, I do the songs, I get weird looks, but I'm like, I'm just going to power through, I get through worship, I put my guitar down, I preach the message, yes, I preach the message, okay, and then I find out at the end that my fly was unzipped the whole time, and now I know that I have to go back next week to these people, and I think maybe, maybe they'll all have Alzheimer's before next week, and this will be something that just... I never have to talk about again. So then I get I get done and I get off the stage and I, and I go to and I go to um, ask mom about it and she says your fly was unzipped, which means that there were at least some of those people who were giving me weird looks, not knowing that my fly was unzipped, which begs the question, why oh why were they giving me weird looks? This is something that I have always wondered and never found the answer to. <laughs> One's Elvis present. Why, why, sorry. Men say only fools rush in, but I can tell falling in love. Shall I stay? Would it be a sin if I can tell falling in love with you like a river flow? to the sea darling so it goes some things are meant to be take my hand 
take my own life too For I can't help falling in love River flows surely to the sea, darling. So it goes. Some things are meant for me. Falling in love with you. You did hear me say that I was not prepared for these songs, right? Because I wasn't. Okay, so now another awkward story. So, you remember me saying about how whenever, <laughs> whenever I feel awkward, I don't know quite what to say. And so I just say something, and it's usually the wrong thing. Okay, so we're we're doing worship practice, and the person is here. This this person is here, and and I, I the kids are sick. I'm in a hurry to get home, and I'm like, okay, let's just get through this as fast as we can. And so then they spill, and I'm like, ah, oh, of course today they spill. Of all the days that they could have spilled, not really a big deal, right? Okay, so then they decide to clean up their own mess, and I'm already like. I think, uh, so I'm like having a, a a meltdown for them trying to clean up their 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 mess. It's not like that big of a deal, but to me this is like I'm 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 flipping out and I'm just waiting to get home. And my mind is already a million miles away because I'm just thinking of all the stuff that I got I got to do. So so after they clean up their mess, they're winding the vacuum cord, and I'm watching it go around, and I decide that they need my help. So instead of saying, allow me to help you, or wow, can, can I help you please, or something like that, I grab it from them, and realizing that this is insanely rude, I say, I want it done faster, because I don't know what else to say, and that's not what I meant to say, but somehow that is what came out. Why is this what is coming out of the sociopath's mouth? I don't know. I don't know. So then they say, well, I thought I was whining it fast. So now I realize I have met, I have hurt their feelings. <sighs> So I, I, I try and, and, and smooth things over, but it just makes super awkward conversation. And I keep making it more and more awkward on purpose. So then I try and walk out with them to, to fix the awkwardness that I caused from that. And it just gets to be this, this big train wreck. And so then I get home later than I would have if I would have just been patient and waited. And uh, I'm not saying that I did, but it would be understandable if I went home and cried and laid down on Gracie and said that I would never leave the house again. I'm not saying that I did do that, because that would be crazy. But you can imagine that it would be okay had I done that. So now another song for you guys, if I can find it. This is a song that I... Uh, play whenever Gracie and I go somewhere or we sing it every time that we go somewhere but so we haven't sung it in a while <laughs> Life I love is making music with my friends and I can't wait to get on the road again that I've never been Seeing things that I might never see again I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Like a band of gypsies we go down the highway We're the best of friends Insisting that the world keep turning our way I 
in our way is on the road again I can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again I can't wait to get on the road again See if I have any more awkward stories to tell you. Hmm. Okay, so everybody has has an embarrassing we just got married story, right? So I'm gonna tell you mine. And so that way you don't feel so quite so bad. And you know what? What's 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 a better way to pass up? you know, stressful days and weeks and months than to hear somebody else get embarrassed. I mean, honestly, is there any better option? So that is, uh, this is my service to you. I am doing you a service. You are welcome. So like most adults, I, uh, you know, have go to the bathroom, you know, to use the bathroom. I go to the bathroom, normal adult stuff. Well, <sighs> we get married and it was a very stressful time. I don't want to go into all the details, but things were very stressful. So we finally get to the house and, you know, have a nice relaxing evening. And, uh, unwinding from the... If you've ever been married, married you know that the weddings are extremely stressful. Like, you've got the whole everybody together. There's so many different emotions going on. Oh, okay. Sorry. The, the next day I wake up and... Well, let me let me kind of set the stage for this, okay? I'm having this very, very it was such a stressful day that I slept insanely hard, okay? You know when you when you've been through a very stressful thing and you just kind of lay down and as soon as your pe head hits the pillow, you're out, you're gone. That's kind of what happened. So I get in this deep sleep, and I'm having this dream about I don't even know what something about a waterfall or something like that. And I think, man, I need to go pee. Well, I wake up and I'm peeing in the bed. My first night with my wife and I pee the bed. Like, oh my gosh, how can it get worse than that? What is more embarrassing than peeing on than peeing in the bed with your with your new and you know what the thing is? You you can't if if we didn't we didn't have sex till after we got married. So what was I gonna tell her? Oh, I don't normally pee the bed. <laughs> Maybe, you don't know. It's something that you can only prove by time. But by then the damage is done, like the breach has been broken, literally, huh? Uh, the, 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 the bond of trust, you know, when you get married, you have this bond of uns unspoken trust, you know, I won't pee on you while you sleep and you won't pee on me. Well, that, that, that bond, that, that sacred oath was crushed and broken. So now I, I'm fairly convinced that now to this day, Gracie, every once in a while wakes up throughout the night just to check, like, is he peeing on me again? So if that makes you feel any better about my awkwardness, and I have one more awkward story. Oh man, that one's a killer good. <laughs> oh man, oh man. I am gonna do a song that I have never done uh, for people before. And so this is going to be a little bit different for me. Up to my ears in bitter tears Can't believe I've sunk this low As I walk the plankton in a sanctum Got out of Dodge shell on a bonus bon voyage You said north, I headed south Tossed overboard, and good lord, that's a really large mouth I'm sleeping with fishes here In the belly of the well I'm highly nutritious here In the belly of the well That food lies the atmosphere I don't want to bellyache How long is this gonna take? Woke up this morning kinda blue Thinking through that age-old question how to exit a well digestion It might behoove me to be heaved Head out like a human common Wonder what rhymes with comets And I'm sleeping with fishes here In the belly of the whale They say I'm delicious here In the belly of the whale Lord, please make him chuck it on 
It's a girl calling the belly of the well In the belly of the hen, the belly of the well In the belly of the well In the belly of the well It's an underwater jail, it's a tight squeeze, it's a getting to it, but it's roomier than the tail. They said, let me flow free, like a sound under the sea, from the LA Symphony. I'm a pedal pedaling in the wake of fake freestyle, of a mind of blowing pace. I'm voting cliches like well, but tell stand, or you can't keep a good man down, cause you can't, cause I've been there, man. And I've been expected, I'm elated, I'm feeling like a way, really happy day. Oops, that's a bit of a cliche. In the belly of the well, in the belly of the Figured that was a little bit appropriate because much like you, I mean, yeah, much like you, he was stuck in a small space that he couldn't leave. <laughs> Isn't that funny yet? Okay, all right. This is a song that I wrote. It's from my first album. Not that it really matters, because <laughs> nobody has my first, second, or third album, so there. <laughs> I'm in awe of who you are. I'm amazed at what you do. You would choose to love. chose to love you When you said you came to save the lost When you said you'd set the captives free When you died and rose again I knew you thought of awesome grace and perfect love that you would choose to light the way I know we fell and fall away you remain the faithful one for God so loved Sorry, that is not from my first album. 
That is for my second album. I am a liar. Oh my goodness. So, okay, one more awkward story. Um, you, you remember, once again, I, I feel like I'm going to keep, keep drawing back to this, that when I, when I feel awkward, rather than a normal person that just shuts up or, I don't know, has, maybe you guys have prepared index cards, you know, like, awkward situation, let me pull one of these bad boys out, let's see which one fits the occasion. I don't do either of those things. I, I instead say things and things just get more awkward. I, I don't know why. You would think that after all this time, I would just learn to shut up. My Aunt Juanita with the dog that I told you earlier. Uh, the whole fly and zip, I should have just dropped it and moved on and pretended like nobody even knew about it. Um, the whole, no, you know, have, letting letting a little bathroom emergency change my whole, <laughs> my whole uh, bathroom thing. Oh my goodness. Uh, the whole thing with the with the cup, the thing with um, what was the other story? The thing with the vacuum cord, and uh, you know the the thing with wetting the bed. These, these are all good examples of how I could have just pretended like they didn't happen. You know, like like there's always that person that you just kind of a little bit ashamed that that you dated them. No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. But anyways, uh, um, the the last story. Okay, I'm in college, trying to find myself. Not really sure of who I am, that kind of stuff, and and I'm I'm trying to stop impressing people and and like just being me around them and stuff. This is more difficult than you know it should be because once again I I make things difficult, and so I'm walking next to this girl, and my future wife Gracie is also walking with us, and um, we're talking about Star Wars. And I forgot how it sounded like a good idea, but in my mind, I had played out this whole um, this whole scenario, and I don't even know how this fit in. But all that came out from all this, you know, um, uh, imagination, story creation in my head, all that actually came out, and all that anybody even knew, was this: looking at her, I wave my hand like a Jedi, and I say, "You will kiss me." And Okay, so we're in a public place, so it's already awkward. Th this girl is my friend, and so now I've, I've made things awkward. And, and so then, you know, my, my future wife is standing next to me too, so it's like, oh, is there something going on here? And it's like, oh, oh no, oh no. And all because in my mind, I had created this elaborate, this elaborate story. And, and you, know what the, you know what the thing is that really makes it seem like I'm making all of this up is, if you were to ask me today, so what was the story? Tell us your side. I don't remember because, okay, after I said this, I realized what I did. She realized what I did. Gracie realized what, realizes what I did. So my mind just kind of goes blank. And I kind of get this look on, uh, uh, I, I, mm, like I, oh boy. Oh boy. So after this, I pretend like it doesn't happen, but in the moment, I just like make it a hundred times more awkward. And she doesn't know what to do, so she does that thing, you know, when somebody does something really awkward. Like, you thought you were just friends, and this guy's, like, making a move in front of his, his woman. It's like, oh my goodness, what's going on here? What any person would do, the awkward laugh. <laughs> and that's the last that we, <laughs> that we said anything about it. But this was so awkward for me, so traumatizing, that not only did I never again, <laughs> for the rest of the time that I was in school, walk with this girl anywhere... <laughs> but I completely, completely wiped my, wiped my memory. I have no idea what was, what it was even about. So I have forgotten this story. And so now when I tell people, no, I didn't mean it like that. It's okay. Okay. So what did you mean? I don't know. I, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, and uh, I was gonna do um, this other song, but I think I'm gonna do this one instead. And then I'll go. Well, I won't go. The video will go. It'll it'll stop. Yeah, but I'll still be here because I can't go anywhere. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll go quarantine myself with my chickens. <laughs> Hello, chickens. <laughs> Anyways.
girl with the best intentions He's a man of his own invention She looked out the window, he walked out the door She followed him and he said, what you looking for? She said, I want something that I want Something that I tell myself I need Something that I want And I need everything I see Something that I want Something that I tell myself I need Something that I want And I need everything I see He's been living in a pure illusion Oops. Right when you think you know what to say Someone comes along and shows you a brand new way She said, I want something that I want Something that I tell myself I need Something that I want And I need everything I see Something that I want Seems you're living in a dream Don't you see that what you need is standing in front of you fun. I hope you uh, felt as awkward in hearing my awkward stories as I felt in telling you my awkward stories or in actually living through them. See, because you can go through the rest of your life and just forget that you ever heard them. But I can't. See, they're, they're, they're stained in my head, stained in my mind, in my memory. And so now every single time that I close my eyes, I, uh, I think about all those times or when I'm just minding my own business, cooking on the grill, just minding my own business, It'll come back to haunt me. I just stab myself. Ugh. God, why did you do that? That was so stupid. And there's no escaping from it. It's, it's that unfortunate memory, that awkward, awkward memory. Um, so if you have any awkward stories, don't post them in the comments below. Because <laughs> everybody will know. And what are you going to say? No, you didn't post that. We can see that you did. It's your name's written all over it. It's Facebook. Come on. Uh, so I hope you guys have a good have a good rest of the day. Um, thank you for watching, and bless you, face.